The first thing you should do in the Location and Naming tab is to choose a global directory, which will then be available as a global variable for the Output Directory field over here in all render targets. To complete the output path, you can add other variables such as the resolution or the format of the clip that is going to be rendered. You can also piece together a file name that not only consists of the input file name but has some other ingredients too. You can for example use the timecode first, separated by a hyphen from the input file name. To add a new frame counter, just add six number signs so that all files will consist of the same amount of characters. You can check the resulting path and file name examples over here and make sure that the set options do what you want them to do. Just play around with all the available parameters, they should be quite self-explanatory.